I'm Kathy Adams, and I have led the Texas Eagle Forum since 1993, so I like to say that I've been around since the Earth cooled. <laughs> and in this process, that is a very long time. Um, I have to tell you that in the past, we've had groups like Christian Coalition and, and the Texas Eagle Forum and Concerned Women for America and the pro-life groups, and we've worked together. But that kind of cooled and... Um, Christian Coalition isn't anymore in the state of Texas and so on, and so our coalition was lost. And I have to tell you, I think one of the most effective things that we have done in recent times, and I have to really give credit to Michael Sullivan for this, is pulling together our coalition again. Texas Homeschool Coalition, I'm sorry. That, they have been around also for a very long time, and Tim Lambert, their leader, and you'll be hearing from them in a moment. But the coalition effort is extremely effective because if uh, one person can help another, of course, um, and we're all uh, singing from the same uh, uh, song sheet, it really is much more effective and makes a lot more sense for those who are in the field. There are three things that I would like to, to speak about specifically. The first is I want to direct you to a website, and it is cleanupaustin.com cleanupaustin.com. There are five points on there that we are working in coalition to support <coughs> things like transparency, things like slush funds, like, like um, uh, links to um, uh, different funding sources. Um, did you know, for example, that a legislator's retirement is linked to a district judge's retirement? So legislators don't have to pass a bill to increase their own retirements. They just increase the district judges and thereby increase their own retirements. We need transparency there. There's no problem with them increasing their retirements, but there is a problem with it not being a transparent transaction for the people of Texas to see. Slush funds, my goodness, the Enterprise Fund, the Emerging Technology Fund, um, and also the major events trust funds. These are all funds that <clears throat> um, are coming out of your pocket and um, uh, under the uh, control of a, uh, oftentimes a single person and, um, and spending your money. We have budgets and we have a process in order to uh, collect the taxes in order to dis distribute those in the state of Texas and having a slush fund is not the upright way to handle those kind of funds. So please go to cleanupaustin.com and participate in that. And um, the first step, I think, is to explain to um, your friends and neighbors exactly what these funds are. And um, uh, then there will be a groundswell, I think, of people who say, these are laws that we need. We need to fix some of this. We need more transparency. So thank you for your help on that. The second is a bill filed by State Representative Jeff Leach, and that is House Bill 562. That we call American Laws for American Courts. And it simply would say that, um, for example, we have a U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who said, oh, that Constitution in South Africa is better than the American Constitution. When you have foreign laws um, participating in the process in America, you are undermining American laws for American courts. There also are um, those Sharia courts that are active in the state of Texas. And in London, for example, they let this go thinking that they could have a parallel legal system with Islam and Sharia courts. And now it's gotten out of hand and there's no drawing it back in and they are um, in dire straits in the UK as a result of that. In the state of Texas, we need to join 10 of the states who have already passed this law. Yes, sir. What was that bill number again? It is House Bill 562. Thank you. 562? Yes, 562. Someone had told me eight. Okay. Oh, 562 by Jeff Leach. Okay. And um, ask your legislators on these bills to co-sponsor them. Uh, we have a person over working in the Capitol doing that right now. And we're very grateful for uh, Carolyn doing that. The last and the third is House Bill 623. 
And if you look online at eagleforum.org, you will find that Phyllis Schlafly's weekly column is explaining this bill, House Bill 623. Why is she interested in it? Well, because her son Andy Schlafly wrote the bill. <laughs> and so uh, that gives us, of course, a tremendous interest in this and seeing this passed. And this is one that we'll be working, again, as a coalition, and I know that David Walls will probably be talking about it as well. What does it do? Oh, my goodness. You know that we have um, uh, bills, we have uh, laws that are before the 5th District Court as well as the U.S. Supreme Court concerning marriage in the state of Texas, as well as our wonderful pro-life bill. Texas Eagle Farm has filed amicus briefs in support of both of these. Mm -hmm. And um, our marriage laws in the state of Texas are not only determined by a law that was passed by the legislature, but also by a constitutional amendment that was passed by them and approved by all of us on um, a ballot. So we have the strongest of defenses. However, some judicial supremacists can come in and just um, uh, backhand those things. And we want to be ahead of the curve and stopping that kind of judicial activism. And so this is our next best defense, is to simply say, you go there as a community, as the lesbian mayor in Houston is doing, or as the city council in Plano, Texas has recently decided to do. And now this is going to be on a ballot in both of those uh, cities in order to push back against this kind of activism. We have a statute, we have a constitutional amendment. This has already been decided by the people of Texas. So quit pushing us on these issues in, in the wrong direction. Yes, What's sir? the title on 623? Um, there's not a title, but it is, uh, there well, are three, three uh, authors. It's by uh, Representative Bell is the, the main author. There are also um, uh, the two others who have signed on, Representative Fletcher and Representative Springer. House Bill 623, and it is pushing back against this activism by this very small minority uh, for um, pushing away what we've already decided in statute and in constitution that we will have marriage in the state of Texas between a man and a woman. And um, so please do help us on that. So cleanupaustin.com, please go there and help us talk to your legislators um, ask them to even uh, file a bill on those five points. Um, secondly, ask them to co-sponsor House Bill 562 by Jeff Leach, which is American Laws for American Courts. And thirdly, um, the bill by Representative Bill uh, uh, Bell saying that we will not fund efforts to support same-sex marriage, and that is House Bill 623. Ask your legislators to support those. We very much appreciate it. I have a card as well with my cell phone and would love to work with all of you. Thanks. Is yeah. there a Senate bill equivalent of the uh, AVAC bill 562? Not yet. Um, Senator Campbell is filing it. I think it was filed this week. I don't have a number on that yet. But it is Senator Campbell who is filing the companion bill to Representative Leach. Okay. Yes, you had said that there's a parallel, parallel, parallel courts already in Texas. Yes, Sharia law courts in uh, Garland um, and in Richardson, uh, these are already at work. And what is happening is that a Muslim couple will go into a JP, a Justice of the Peace. This is typical. And they will plead a case knowing full well that this is not covered by Texas law. It's under Sharia. And so then it puts that judge in a position of saying, well, you have to go to your Sharia court. So it is, in a way, legitimizing their, their Sharia court. Um, last week and also in Garland, Texas, we had unindicted co-conspirators meeting in a public school facility in order to defend Allah and Islam. So there is very much a march uh, trying to do this, not just in the state of Texas, but in other states. We have a president who's bringing in hundreds of thousands of Syrians. When they are refugees and given that status, they also have the right to vote. So this is very much a move, and you have chaos and Islam all across the world, 
because of what Barack Hussein Obama has done, um, starting in Egypt. And it was so radical what they did in Egypt that even, of course, the people took to the streets in order to get rid of that. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a very big issue, not just in Texas. but it, So this is what we can do as Texans to defend our laws. Thanks so much.